Hey everybody, this is Heavy Bullets. These videos hopefully gonna give you my ideas on the game and if it's worth it to actually buy. Not bad settings. Toggle FPS cap on and off, have it set to 120. So this is a uh, FPS roguelike in which you have to, uh, uh, as you can see, get to the end and fix whatever is broken. In order to do that, you have to fight through waves and waves and waves and waves of monsters in a randomly generated arena, pretty much. I don't know why I'm getting stuttering. Really bad stuttering. Whenever you actually run into something, most of the time they are one hit kills. Like that. I apologize for the stuttering. I'll have to look into fixing this. But pretty much you have to run around, look for items, which will either be in doors like this, which you need a key card, which is in the bottom left, and also find, or try to find the exit. It's not a bad game, I don't think. You just have to make sure that you are completely aware of, aware of your surroundings and make sure you just don't get randomly killed. And if you can see like a pixel, bam, it's dead. The main goal of this game is you have six bullets to start. And as you can tell, I've been shooting and picking them up. They're heavy bullets. They don't go away. They just bounce on the ground whenever you fire them. And yeah, I've yet to find a key card to show what's in there. There will be secret spots that you can that you can look through uh, with like a small black X on a wall itself. If you find one of those X's, just walk up to the wall, press E, the use button, or no, space is the use button, and the wall will come up, and you'll be able to see what's inside. And yeah, every place is randomly generated, so you probably won't run into the same map layout as you would have before. I'll get heal. I'll get, uh, yeah, I'll take a red potion. Which items, I don't believe. Yeah, it tells you what it does, but that's the only way to find out is press escape and look at what it says for that. Otherwise, you'll have to use it or if it's a passive item, just learn what it does as a turn. Where is that? Uh oh. Yeah, 
Those are the monsters that can guard themselves. Just take the heal. Uh, I don't really need an extra bullet bump sword. That way I can just... In case I actually run out and kill myself. Yeah, you can get, uh, from what I can tell, an unlimited amount of bullets. Nice. You can melee people. I actually do not recommend using the other weapon. Because you have to rapidly you click it in order to actually kill something with how close they get. I don't remember. Oh, nope. Not that way. Oh, I have to go that way. But. When I played, it's a good game. If you like FPS games, it would probably. If you like FPS games and roguelikes, you would probably like this game. But what do you guys think? Does this game look like something you would buy? Would you pay. Retail price of ten dollars for this game or not. Yeah, for some reason it does that. But I I've been seeking and you guys have a nice day.